Tonight, the African nation of Nigeria remains on edge as widespread protests continue between demonstrators and security forces there. For two straight weeks, protesters have been demanding an end to police brutality and harassment. In the last 24 hours, clashes between the two have resulted in chaos and reports of fatalities. Nigeria's president, Mohamedou Buhari, a former general himself, is appealing to all his citizens for, quote, understanding and calm. Here's RT's Alex Mihailovich with the latest developments. It's a scene we've watched repeat around the world. Police brutality. And in Nigeria, it can lead to death. According to Amnesty International, at least 56 people have died during two weeks of widespread protest, including 38 on Tuesday. The human rights organization says that at least 12 of those killed on Tuesday were at two separate gatherings, where Nigerian security forces fired upon peaceful protesters in the country's largest city, Lagos. There were so many cases and so many incidents, but these were the ones that Amnesty International could independently verify, so the numbers could be much higher. Nigeria's army has called the allegations fake news. Nigerians have been protesting against police brutality. In particular, they are calling for an end to the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, or SARS, police unit. SARS was set up in the 1980s to tackle criminality, but is accused of kidnapping, torture, and killing. The protest started online after an undated video showing what appeared to be SARS officers attacking a man was shared widely on social media. Echoing the demands of Nigerian protesters, Voices from around the world have condemned the action of Nigerian police. Some of those supporting the demonstrators in the African country are average people on the streets, as far away as London. It is time for change in Nigeria! We are all standing for change! While others are prominent figures, such as the UN Secretary General. So it's time for all countries to understand, and I hope Nigeria will be able to do so, uh, that police brutality needs to stop, and those that are responsible um, uh, for uh, acts uh, of uh, such uh, dramatic violence uh, are made accountable. Uh, and this is essentially essential everywhere. Although Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, disbanded SARS last week, the protests have continued. The Nigerian public has become accustomed to broken promises by the government and have taken this opportunity to campaign for wider social change. The nation's government is famous for corruption. The country remains poor and lacking in infrastructure, while billions of dollars pour in from oil revenue. So far, Tuesday's violent crackdown has done little to stop the protesters. Evidently, even the most draconian measures are not able to silence the voice of the people. For RT, I'm Alex Mihailovic. All right, Sean, I'm going to first give all honest and God's praises. Due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Karkadash, uh, double honors to the positive and the elders of Great Millstone, peace to Akim um, that's doing his work on the four corners of the earth. And uh, what you just witnessed was uh, <clears throat> pretty much of uh, Jacob's trouble uh, in Nigeria. Uh, what you just witnessed. Um, so, really, uh, those are really the curses of really Yahweh Shimei Al Shai uh, to use a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, no matter where you are on this globe, okay? You caught the curses of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because your forefathers uh, made a covenant with Yahweh, okay? So, uh, that was pretty much uh, Jacob's trouble of what you watched, and pretty much, you know, that that's really uh, what's going on, okay? And um, that's, that's in Nigeria, and uh, you have a lot of uh, Southern Kingdom over there, okay? Uh, you have a lot of uh, tribe of Judah is over there also, okay? And like over there, they worship um, all these uh, idols. Uh, you got the ones that's in the Christianity. You got the ones that's in the Islam. Uh, you know, you still probably got people over there, are, are, of our people that's over there, still worshiping them. Those Hamite uh, deities over there, instead of worshiping Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and so now they're you know they're getting their judgment, and you know that's pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, you know uh, Yahweh was putting that 
that judgment real hard on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And uh, what I want to do, I want to read uh, some scriptures here. Okay, uh, Book of Amos, chapter, uh, I'm going to go to uh, 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has, has speaking against you, O children of Israel, against the whom families which I bring up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only I know of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will I will punish you for all your iniquities. OK, so that, you know, that's a cut right there. You know, the ones who want to say that uh, that that, you know, the Lord, you know, love everybody. That's a cut. OK. Let this madness go by. Okay. Yeah, but uh, that's a cut for anybody that says that the Lord loves everybody, but he only chose one nation. And that would be the 12 tribes of uh, Israel. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But that is said, you know, throughout the whole families of the earth. Okay, I have only known you. Okay, and, and you know, he doesn't know no other nation. Okay, he doesn't know... No Hamites. He doesn't know no Edomites. He doesn't know Ishmael. He doesn't know Elon or Japheth. Okay. He just, you know, I just read it. You know, to all of all the families I know, the all the families that are on the earth, uh, you are the only ones that I know, which is the twelve tribes of Israel, which is very true. Okay, because uh, our forefather of uh, Abraham uh, made a covenant with you. How about Shimei Shai? Okay, and so did uh, even before that, he made a covenant with uh, Adam. Okay, but I'm gonna go into another uh, scripture right quick. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, Jeremiah uh, 11 11. Therefore, that shall the Lord behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be a part to escape and throttle there. I mean, they, they shall cry unto me. I will not hearken unto them. Okay, let me read the next one. Then, then, then shall the city of Jerusalem and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, I mean, sorry, city of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem going and cry upon the gods unto whom they offering and see. But they shall not save them at all, at all, in the time of their trouble. Kind of, because like, you know, um, like I said, they want to worship these other, uh, other idols, these other gods, and they're getting paid for it, okay? And, you know, they're getting in trouble, and the Lord's not hearing them, okay? Get another one right quick. I want to read uh, Jeremiah 30 verses uh, 7. Also for that day is great. So that neither is like it. It is ever the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. But he shall be saved out of it. Okay. And who's going to be saved out of it? 
it's going to be the uh, 144,000 and one third. Okay, because, you know, uh, we are at the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. And this is a worldwide thing. Okay. And that's what's pretty much going on. Because, you know, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are hard-headed people. Okay, and so he's just going to leave a remnant. Of who he gonna save, okay? And there's gonna be the hundred and forty-four thousand and one third that's gonna be chosen, and that's it. But you two thirds, you're gonna die because you didn't repent. You're too proud. You know you don't want to go on back onto the laws or honor the Sabbath. So the only thing that that's for you is death, okay? You know the scripture here. Uh, Book of Hosea, chapter uh, 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because that has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That thrust shall be no priest to me, seeing that has forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget their children. Kind because uh, I uh, also uh, with them um, with the uh, police and the military over there, they been uh, killing up a lot of uh, kids over there. Okay, like it ain't nothing over there. So you know that that's fitting the prophecy very well. Okay, get another scripture here. to get this uh, right here uh, book of um, Salakia uh, book of uh, St. John chapter uh, 8 verses uh, 44 ye are of your father the devil and the lies of your father ye will do his, he was a murderer from the beginning and about not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And the next one. And because... I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Um, the next one, which for ye, I mean, which of you, uh, convert, uh, converted me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye? not believe me he that is of Yahweh heareth God's word ye therefore hear them not because ye are not of Yahweh okay and, and so like you know you you Jake's over there uh, rather it's in Africa Europe Asia uh, the Americas, North America, uh, you two thirds globally are, you know, getting your judgment right now. Okay. And, and, you know, and it's, you know, going to continue. Okay. But, um, Lord willing, this was that and fine. I just wanted to say that and, you know, prophesied this. I want to give all honors, glory, and praises due to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekakadash. Uh, double honors, apostles, and elders, a great millstone, piece of the Akim, uh that's doing this work on the folk on this earth, shalom and above above.